how comfortable these shoes were. I used to have these in gray and I just threw these on. My camera cut off for a second, but I was saying, I know flat shoes have been a trend recently, but these, but these are so comfortable. Like I forgot how comfortable they are. I think they might be the most comfortable pair of shoes I've ever owned. And I also got another pair of shoes. So these are the New Balance 550s. And then I also picked up a different pair sneakers as well i've been needing new sneakers so i also got these i love the like gray and white this is just to authenticate the shoe it's not part of the shoe i need to take it off but i actually got these off of poison they have the best prices for sneakers new balances nike they have like every brand you can think of and also everything is authenticated they have a free legit check service so that ensures that your sneakers are real because we do not want to get fake sneakers i believe they have over 350 brands and over 100,000 supported items they also have price advantage and code discounts to buy your sneakers because who doesn't like to get a pair of a new sneakers discounted because shoes are so expensive these days like i don't know what happened but everything's just expensive now they have a tiktok and instagram account if you guys want to check that out sometimes i like to like look up the shoes that people are wearing before i purchase them if you're looking at a certain shoe that you want to buy and also they offer returns up to three days of receiving the item also verified before delivery with competitive price so i will have everything down below if you guys want to check them out i would show you guys a little outfit of the day of how i wear the sneakers so I have them on with these like baggy jeans, which I love. And then I'm going to just run some errands. So I just threw on a white long sleeve, my hair is in braids, a little hat, but these are the perfect like running around sneakers. They just elevate an outfit a little bit, super comfortable. Just going to throw on a jacket, really simple outfit of the day. These are my like go-to shoes right now. You can use my personal code in all caps, page zero one, page zero two to get up to $30 off of your pair of shoes at poison that will be down in the description box i love my sneakers oh we can't even see them really but if you guys have any other sneakers that you guys like leave them down below i'm just like into i just really want to get more sneakers i feel like all of mine are really old and i don't know what's cool anymore honestly but i need to leave right now because i am going uptown trying to figure out my next steps in my life. Uh, I am not resetting my lease in New York, but I have been doing a lot of research. I really want to go to culinary school in Italy. I literally had anxiety the other day and just emailed, I'm not kidding, I think like 15 different schools, which is good. At least I'm getting a start somewhere. I spent so many hours just researching and emailing and figuring out what kind of school I want to go to. Uh, seeing if they accept international students and what the visa process would be for that because I do want to do maybe like a four-month program. I'm having issues with finding a good in-between. Some things are like one to two month programs and then other than that, then it goes all the way to like three-year programs and I kind of want to find maybe like a four-month program to get a feel for it before I completely dive into school. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been doing.
Good morning from the Upper West Side. Miss Gina had a pop-up at Columbia and I wanted to check it out this morning. Give us coffee and the cup says Neutrogena on it. Can't say no to free coffee. And they're just giving out little samples of their sunscreen. So I was like, I'm gonna check it out. So cute. Such a good idea, honestly. Free coffee, free SPF. But I used to live up here, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and just like walk around my old stomping grounds. I lived up here with Christina for like about a year. But my best friends lived up here for a long time. Michael, Jenny, Tori, Emma. They split a two bedroom, huge apartment and made it into four bedrooms. So I'm very familiar with the Upper West Side. I used to be on 116. I think my friends are, were on 110. This lighting is awful, but I didn't know where else to put you. That's a bit better. But I'm going to walk around, explore. I have a few meetings I have to do today, so, and I need to edit, so I'll probably go to a coffee shop later. I just got out of the shower, guys. I had to wait to get my facial. I was supposed to get like micro needling done. You guys know I've been breaking out from being off of birth control. I just have so much hormonal acne. Honestly, it's really not that bad right now. I think, I feel like I keep saying this, but I think it's finally clearing up and I'm just like suffering from scarring right now. I was supposed to get micro needling done last Sunday and that was supposed to help with like scarring and stuff like that. But of course, I'm on an antibiotic right now and I had to postpone my appointment, which is so sad because I just want this off of my face. The day will come one day, okay? But I just got out of the shower. I had a meeting. Like I said, went to Neutrogena. That was such a cute little pop-up. And I think they said they're going to Union Square too. Uh, and they're giving away like free sunscreen and coffee if you guys want to check it out. I'm sure they have information like on their website or something. But... I went there, had my meeting, and then I'm getting ready right now. I just showered because I have a date tonight. I know, I know, guys. I'm going to be so honest. I really don't want to go, and I feel really bad saying that because it has nothing to do with the guy. But I just have been exhausted from dating recently, and I just don't want to do it. Like, it pains me. I just really don't have the energy from it right now. I, I just feel so exhausted from dating, and... The one good thing about this date though tonight is it's a second date. It's also a date with a guy that I already know. I told the story, did I tell it on TikTok I think? But basically I knew this guy from my high school. We like went to the same high school, everything. I've known him forever. And we just happened to be on the same flight, same flight back to New York. Um, Cause from Pittsburgh to New York, because obviously it's from my hometown. And it was just a really weird situation. Like it was giving fate, like it was giving romance, Hallmark movie vibes. So I was like, damn, I should really go on this date because like, what if this is like the universe? But at the same time, I'm like, Ugh, I just don't feel like dating right now. I feel bad because it has nothing to do with him. It's all me. Like I, I'm the problem here. And I'm so I can't drink because I'm on the stupid antibiotic. So can't even get a little tipsy beforehand, which I go on a date, not having a little something in me. You no, know, it makes me loose. It makes me, it makes me have fun. You know, loose is not the right term for talking about dating then. <laughs> but it makes me have fun and like, just not be in my head and overthink it. I need to be off of this stupid antibiotic. Tomorrow's my last day. I've been on it for two weeks. Two weeks. Enough, I'm done. I was really thinking in the shower, really deep thoughts for some reason. I don't know, the shower just does it to me, girl. But I, I feel like this is such a year for me to really step out of my comfort zone. I talked about it a little bit, but I'm not resetting my lease in New York and I just have such a good feeling about it. Like I love New York to death. All my best friends are here and it will always be here for me. This year, I just really want to have like no attachments. I think that's also like why I don't want to date right now because I'm just like, I know I'm going to leave. So I kind of just don't want to, you know, have any attachments to the city whenever I leave because I'm going back to Italy and then I don't even know what I'm going to do because I have some like, places I want to go, but I just don't want to have any attachments to anything. Like I want to be free. And I feel like I started to do that last year because I went away. I feel like there's such a pressure to feel like you have to have everything figured out. And like at 25, so I look at all my friends around me and they have like stable relationships, like moving on to get like married or getting so high promoted in their like job and like just really have a stable life. <laughs> and I feel like I do not, really have that right now. Oh, I've, I journaled about this. I was saying how like in your mid twenties, people expect you to like kind of have it all figured out. They're like, you're so young, live your life. But oh, when are you getting married? When are you having kids? When are you like, gonna get a boyfriend? 
So it's kind of like this constant like in between of like which path do I take? Writing about it in my book and I was, I mean my journal, and I was like, I think that's the most beautiful part about being in this weird like in between phase of life is that you really can take like any path. It's this like weird in between of like where do I belong and what kind of life do I want to make for myself because we are making like the foundations of our life right now. So I feel good about it. I feel good about a lot of things. Um, don't have to have it all, it all figured out. But if you do, and if that's what you want, that's good too, you know? There's just so much you can do in life. Uh, possibilities are endless. Yeah, I didn't expect this to get so deep in my bathroom, but that's my thoughts. And I'm getting ready for this date. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I don't know yet, yeah, something pretty casual. I might meet up with my friends later tonight as well to go to this party. Um, We'll see. I just got a very exciting package. This is perfect timing because I wanted to wear one of these shirts on my day, actually. I ordered from this brand. My friend Jordan told me about them. And she was like, they're so your vibe and they're really cute and they're not super, super expensive. So let's try them out. I think they're big on TikTok and there's a few things that I want, but they're out of stock, I think, from TikTok. So hopefully... Oh, I forgot I got a pair of pants and a shirt so this is the shirt i wanted to wear it is so hard to find a good pair of jeans like it is just so difficult for no reason and i can never find ones that i like without them being literally like 400 dollars. why are jeans ever that much money but first with the top oh my gosh it's so cute i got a size small so hopefully this fits me right it does look a little like stretchy and stuff so hopefully this fits me and i don't need to size down i've determined that brown looks good on me i always wear black and sometimes especially in the winter I realize black doesn't look amazing on me because I'm so pale. kind of looks harsh on me, I've realized. Don't get me wrong, I love an all black outfit and I will still be wearing all black. But I'm trying to wear more brown because I feel like it just looks better on me. But anyways, let's try this on. And then I also might as well try on the pants too. I hope these fit me too. I completely was just guessing on sizes because it was really weird. They were like sizes like six, seven, eight. Like I don't know what that means. But I think I got a size eight, which it says it transfers over to 26. But these are supposed to be like low baggy. So let's try these on. We're starting with the jeans. I hope these fit me because I think this brand is based in Australia and I really don't want to pay for shipping to return things. They're supposed to hang low though. <laughs> but that just looks wrong. What? Look at this. Zipper area is so long for them to hang. Okay, these were definitely a miss. But aside from that, I mean, the denim does look really nice. I know they're supposed to hang low, but if I had them normal, it's like that. And if I have them lower, like there's no, it's still really loose. But then the crotch area is so long, I feel like it looks kind of weird. Okay, let's try on the shirt. This is such a mess. I will not be wearing this tonight. I feel like the shirt kind of looks big too. And I feel like I'm usually a true small. Sometimes I'm an extra small, but I feel like I'm a true small. Even this part, I feel like this shoulder thing looks like it's about to fall off of me. The quality of the shirt and the jeans seems really good. So I think I just need to reevaluate the sizing. Okay, we need to make some returns. <laughs> My camera's probably gonna die because I only charged it for 10 minutes. But I'm heading downtown to the Lower East Side right now. I'm meeting up with Christina and this girl from Like to Know It. I will talk about that later if you guys are interested because I'm trying to figure out like if you guys use it or what. But I'm meeting up with her and Christina for coffee and we're going to like talk about the platform and stuff because I don't really know much about it. I've just been like trying to figure it out. I'm sorry if my camera dies though. I'm gonna try to get some clips before it dies. Let's go. I got back a little bit ago from I need to leave soon 
I need to take off all my makeup. I'm getting a little spray tan, which I need a bitch. I'm pale. I don't know. I just look sick. I don't like it. From Tan Lux, I believe, is the company. They invited me, and I guess they're doing like new spray tans. Also, it's like fashion week kind of vibes right now, and I hate to say it. I really do. I've talked to Christina about it, and my friend's actually in fashion, like, the industry new york fashion week just is not it like i don't really like to like i'll go to some things and the events and stuff like that but i don't like it the city just gets so crazy and there's all these ugh, i don't know i'm not into it i think that's why they're doing the spray hands right now i think they're offering it not only to influencers as well now but I don't know i was like i will go get a free spray tan oh i was meeting up with the girl sorry i'm like editing and trying to talk right now i met up with the girl from like to know it i'll have my like to know it down below if you guys are interested in it let me know if you guys use it um apparently a lot of people use it and it's actually a really easy way to like link a whole outfit which i really like and i kind of love that it lives all on one platform you know i guess you could do like instagram links and stuff like that but you can only link one thing at a time. I like that you can like click on a photo and link everything and see where everything's from. So I hope I like to know it down below. I'm gonna really be good at that. This year I told myself I'm going to be better at linking because I just, I mean like as a consumer as well, like I hate whenever I follow people and they don't link things and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. I wanna know where that's at. So I'm going to get really good at that. Me and Christina went with the girl from like to know it to kind of just figure out the platform better. Now I'm going to leave in like 30 minutes. Also, I had my date last night and I'm actually like happy I went. It was really nice. We had like a private dinner with the chef. There was another couple too, but it was really intimate. And then we just like vibed on the terrace afterwards. But I'm so glad I went. I had fun. That's all we can ask for in life. Okay, I'm gonna leave in 30 minutes to go downtown to Soho. Thank <laughs> you. 